Hello, it's Dr. Kino X here, and welcome back to week three of my weight loss journey. So, um, no way in this week, of course, with it being an odd week, so I'm just going to go over what we've done, um, and of course, the average uh, over the week, and yeah. <laughs> And anything that's of course I've noticed it's changed. On another note, it has absolutely come down this uh, weekend. Our previous weekend, of course, because Monday has been uploaded. Um, with snow, we must have had at least two, three inches of snow. We've been out of snowmen, of course, and a little one, so uh, that was a good laugh. Uh, made two, made one, he then jumped on it, um, annihilating it, of course. So uh, I then built my, up oh, my expertly made over one of course um, so yeah so of course so go over what we've done what we've made for the day exercise for the day and then of course the a daily deficit so this is week commencing January the 18th for this one and then for that one we have 70 sorry 1947 for food which is 254 for breakfast 559 for lunch 680 for dinner and 454 for snacks with 964 calories of exercise because I've started doing um, a new route um, not too much work because that's, there's no really other way I can go uh, unless I make it four times longer um, basically up uh, a really big hill that's near where I live um, to the top of town and then around a bit of the back area and then down towards back to work on Monday we had a, a daily deficit of 1,147, so that was a really good start to the week. Goes a bit downhill, but, <laughs> but it, it does all stay in the positive apart from one day, which I'm a bit upset about, but that's mainly my fault, we'll explain that in a little bit. Um, right, Tuesday, 19th of Jan, we had 1,677 food and 234 kinds of exercise, mainly because the weather was atrocious and I couldn't walk because it was torrential rain all day. <laughs> and I wasn't going to get drenched. So, and of course, that breaks down to 182 for breakfast, 625 for lunch, and 566 for dinner, and 304 for snacks, which gives a daily deficit of 687. And for Wednesday, we had 1817 food and 195 exercise. Again, weather was atrocious, I couldn't walk. That breaks down to 234 for breakfast, 794 for lunch, and 576 for for dinner and 213 for snacks, giving us a daily deficit of 508 for that one. Thursday, we have 2306. I don't know why I went up this day, but you know, um, looks a bit of a cheat, but you know, <laughs> um, that makes down to 243 for breakfast, 731 for lunch, and then 1100 for dinner, unfortunately, because I didn't check the calories before I had it. That's completely my fault. Um, and then 206 for snacks, but we did do again 961 of exercise, um, which gave us a daily dash fit of 785 for that day. And then Friday we had 2018 calories for the day, starting off with breakfast at 181, uh, lunch at 1083, and then dinner at 300, um, and then snacks at 454. And we did 632 calories of exercise that day, giving us a deficit of 744. I don't know if that is just the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, yesterday, as I said, this one was a bit of a cock up because I did not count the calories all day while I was eating because we were just busy all day. Um, so I didn't count calories at all until at night time when I remembered what I ate. And that's when I realised I'd made a mistake. As you'll see, because it was 2,560 for food, which 306 for breakfast, 639 for lunch. 901 for dinner, 714 for snacks, which is why it's so high, unfortunately. And then 428 calories of exercise, many from moving stuff around the house rather than a big salt air. Again, because my son's got a new bed. Which unfortunately gave us a overeat of two calories, so minus two, unfortunately, for that day. But um, so that was meant because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but at least this week has so shown me one thing for certain is that I can go all day absolutely fine on 17,800 calories and not be hungry. So I need to focus on that I think for the next week and see if I can do all week without going over that. That'd be I think, a good achievement for next week. That'll be the goal for next week. If we can have all around 1,800, well, we'll see. I'll fail that probably first day. But you know. And today we have had 1,789 food. 
uh, which is broken down into one nine six for breakfast, three four eight for lunch, and seven seven three for dinner, and four seven two for snacks. An exercise of four and three gives a deficit of seven hundred and fifty four for the day. So that's it for this week. So overall average, taking all seven days totals and then dividing in course by seven because it's seven days in a week, we have a total average deficit per day of 661 which means we probably could expect a loss of one to two pounds which seems to be about what I get between 700 uh, six to seven hundred every day is probably every week even so far as what we've hit so uh, that's pretty pretty good I want to get up to ideally seven to eight hundred but of course that's uh, we'll, we'll get there eventually I think so that is it for this week so this is probably going to be a very interesting week the next week with it be having a snow so bad um so there is no option i'm going to have except to walk for work to walk to work um so we'll have to see in that case i mean it should be as i've got snow boots so uh, we'll be fine on that front anyway that is it for today so if you enjoyed it can push, push that i can't speak push that like button do a comment down below because subscribe to this channel film and twitter link down below as always and as I say, I've been XR Killer X. Thank you so much for watching this week's um, episode of my weight loss journey. And I shall see you next week when we do the one month check-in. Big first milestone, one month in. That's coming next week. See you then.